I'll read you a little thing, guys. I'm Toast Bloke, and this is my first ever YouTube video. So, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy what you're going to see. I hope it just, I just hope it works. That's what I hope. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called Prehistoric Kingdom for the first time. Uh, so, let's jump into it and see what the crack is. The reason I'm choosing to play this game is I am hooked on dinosaur games, and I used to love the old theme park and roller coaster tycoon series. So this just seemed like it was going to be something really interesting. Fingers crossed it's good. If I enjoy it, we'll play a little bit more. We'll do some more. But uh, let's get started with what I believe is the tutorial. And I've been told I will find it under scenarios. And there it is. It's easy, apparently. Takes 15 minutes. Well, under 15 minutes, apparently. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll go. Hello? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Ah, uh, hi. It's so good to finally meet you. It's lovely to meet you too, sir. I'm Nigel, your park supervisor and head of zoological developments here at Prehistoric Kingdom. Since our last park manager moved to the Americas division, this place has fallen into a bit of a state. Unfinished plans, neglected habitats, all telltale signs of a much needed makeover. An easy makeover? As I'm sure you know, our zoos are a little different. Been promised one. So it's perfectly normal Watch to feel overwhelmed hard. at first. Which is absolutely struggling. After all, this. it's hard for most people to imagine what dinosaurs look like, let alone manage them. We're here to change that. And I reckon this will be second nature for you in no oh, time. I, I haven't played a game like this since Roller Coaster. Right, first Hang things on, first. It? I'm sure you're ready to meet three. our friend down there. So let's make sure you can look around. I'm sending some input controls to you now. Oh, great. Via email or... Via objectives. So we're moving about, so great. Cool. Again, the basic controls, which I need. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, it's a long time since I've been a, a PC gamer. This looks jittery as hell. Hopefully that's uh, just just me. All right, ease up. Cues down. Go and wiggle around, move about the place. Orbit, mouse two, does that mean mouse button two? The what? Mouse two? Am I missing something here? Mouse two. Oh, what is right? Okay, right, I've got that. I've got that. We scroll wheels. Mouse two. <laughs> I'm just presuming right click, <laughs> and then zooming in out with the scroll wheel. Right, that's easy. I've got that. I've got that. Oh, Let's check top some marks. auxiliary functions. <laughs> Try enabling your light. Me light. I've got a light. L. Oh. I'm glad. That's why we don't L like flash light. photography. I like it. Next, we'll get light? you on the move. The I'd dinosaurs like you to get look around I the park it. for a bit and get comfortable with your surroundings. What? Feel free to mingle with the guests or enjoy some of the creatures on display. I'll enjoy check them, in you with see. you soon. <laughs> I think I'll pass. That's a really weird way of putting it. Or maybe my mind's just too far gone. So am I just having to look around to see what the crack is? How do you rotate again? Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Um, what? Yeah, I can't do that. What, why is it so dramatic? Can you not just turn chill? Oh my god. Why do I feel like it's making us go further away? <laughs> why am I so slow? How, oh, I'll go up with that, don't I? Right. I'll get there. I'll get there with this. I'll get there. Oh, it's because I'm, when I'm clicking that and I'm accidentally hitting the scroll wheel. So, yeah, so far, great start, you know. What's the... Oh, my God, and it goes the opposite way to what I'd think. Hang on. There's loads of noise over here. That, I mean... The... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is... This is just exquisite gameplay. <laughs> All right. I hope you're I've ready to get your nothing. hands dirty. To start, oh, you'll need to investigate a man. welfare issue in the paddock from earlier. Caring for the animals oh, should be your number one priority here at Prehistoric Kingdom. If they're not happy, no one's happy. Select one of the animals in the habitat so we can take a look at them. I guess I'm going to this little icon here. Oh my god. 
Uh, this is going to take me a little bit of getting used to. I'm not going to lie. Good job. This is the first in the series. You might, you might, you might forgive us. I say a series. I might never touch this again. Like, why is it so hard to turn around? Is that the Dryosaurus there? Okay, right, is so this sick. is a Dryosaurus. Sick. This little fella is a small herbivore from the Jurassic, and it looks like their herd needs our help. When tackling a welfare issue like this can one, you can expand oh, headers no inside the animal's info <laughs> box to learn more about the problem. <laughs> Try clicking on the sustenance and enrichment labels. All I'm seeing is you are getting the greatest cinematic shock. Shock, shocked? You are getting the greatest cinematic shots you have ever seen in this game or any other game, I swear. So, what? Welfare is enough. Sustenance is enough. It's got knee enrichment. Too many friends. <laughs> One percent. Too many friends. Never mind. A hundred. Habitat sixty-five. So we got to improve that stuff. Open the sustenance panel. Is that that? It's not the objectives. So what's the sustenance panel? Is it highlighted? Or is this is it on here? Heal animal. Terminate. No. Habitat. Welfare. Is it somewhere else? Am I missing something? Yeah, I could be here for a while. Am I missing something he's told us? And open the enrichment panel. I feel like I saw that. But maybe I'm making it up. Right, we're going to click on these for starters just to see what the crack is. Because I, I need to have a look around and get used to this. So what's lit up? Let's trap the animal. Because why not? He's, they're off. I want to see what they're doing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fantastic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's the names. What's that one called? It's a female called Pekati. Nice. I like it, but... I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. What? What's the sustenance panel? If I click sus... Oh. Hang on. I clicked the freaking welfare one and nothing happened, so I presume nothing happened. Look. But it does. Just not on that one. The little radgies. Oh, I hate them. As you can see... It looks Nigel, like our I'm not previous impressed. park manager <laughs> took the American job and ran without I much consideration so much. for the animals he oh left behind. God. While I call up the board members, I'll need you to care for the little ones. Oh, easy, Nigel. You can start by getting their food situation sorted. Some enrichment, too. It's got such a cool if voice. If you get lost, there's an objective prompt on the left side of the screen. Good luck. As he's told us at least. I already know where the objectives are, but it's on the left side of the screen. Didn't really, I don't think you like me. There'll be people who come on this and go, sustenance, yeah, enrichment, yeah. But because welfare didn't work, I presume that wasn't them, and now I look like an absolute tool. But you know, let's see if we can do some more stuff. Add a feeding trough to the exhibit. Right, I do want to trap this dinosaur anymore. How do I stop? Maybe I do actually, maybe that'll stop us from absolutely spinning out of control. Um, let's have a look then. This is flashed up new. Is this what I need? And that's a flat feeder. Feeding trough, flat feeder. Gotta be right, innit? Ooh, and the controls come up for this. Oh, I don't know where I want to put it though. I've, I've, I'm, I'm not this good. Do you think they want to eat near the water or near their beds? I don't know. Let's put one down over here. How do I rotate that? With Oh my god, I've got to go down there. I've got to do finger gymnastics here, have I? Right, we've got one of them. That'll do. That's nice. And then what am I thinking? What do I need? Add enrichment. Well, that was this panel, wasn't it? Oh, we're getting faster. Termites. Yeah, everybody knows dinosaurs absolutely love hanging about with termites. Let's pop that there. Great work oh, getting the dryosaur paddock up and running yeah. again. Nigel, the board and I'm glad you really appreciate you, you see stepping it. up to get this place My back God. on track. When you're ready, I'd like uh, you to head over to the old construction site. No, Nigel, don't ask us to go somewhere, like to actually move. Oh, Nigel, you should know that I cannot turn. Oh, that was more successful. And is that the old construction site? It's just, 
Do it as the Romans did. Straight lines if we can. Oh, I feel like I'm proper heavy handed. Like, my God. Do I just keep going? Is this, is this it? Nothing's happening. Oh, wait. Is it this blue zone? <laughs> that could be the construction site. So if I turn from there, why? I don't like the rotation. There's got to be a better way to rotate and proper swinging out and drifting away from the place you're looking at, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll figure this. Next, we're going to get ready for One a new day. attraction. I've already sorted the food and enrichment, but I'll need you to do the rest of the heavy lifting. Let's prepare the area right, by Nigel. building a generator nearby. You're getting on like not ideal, not ideal for you to be trying to uh, do the heavy lifting at your age. Bless you. I'm saying that I don't know how old he is. I could just be being really cruel here. So I'm guessing I want the wind turbine in here. Do you want to line it up like parallel with the sides? I guess that's. Oh my god. I guess that keeps it tight. Next right? up, I'd like you to build an animal nursery in that area there. Bloody hell, how big does it need to be? Oh look, we're, get, we're getting that. We're doing better already. We're getting the hang of it. Park infrastructure makes sense. I like, I like how it's only showing us the available windows. I think Nigel caught a, caught a had and was like, uh, he doesn't he didn't know what he's doing there, does he? He has no idea how to operate this game, so uh, let's make it easy for him. Can you, do you want to overlap that? Is that something you should do or? Nice job. Looks Select the nursery and open the genetics lab from the pop-up menu. Oh, Nigel, you're asking a lot here. Select the nursery. Is it, not another one of these. Genetics lab I'm looking for, apparently. All right, well, it's none of them. Oh, here we'll go again. Here we'll go again, taking 40 minutes, trying to work out. Oh, wait, open nursery menu. In case you haven't already Why is it not? It says genetics this lab. This is where the magic happens. Oh. Today, I'd like you to incubate a Torvosaurus. It would have been nice if that was more clear that clicking that took you to the genetics lab. Am I just not listening well enough to, to Nigel? A Torvosaurus. Where is it? Very nice. Just click on it. Quite a fearsome looking fella, isn't right, it? Decent size. In like... here, you can find everything you'd need to know about managing an animal. Exhibit requirements, social needs, diet. You name it. You can even change how an animal looks, assuming you've discovered what? all the genetic material. Here, try changing its appearance. Are these appearances just like guesswork? What's this button do? Did oh, you notice there. the species name changing? Oh, Some animals, nice. like the Torvosaurus, have a handful of species to pick from, That's changing cool. their needs, size, appearance, and even star rating. Ah, sick, Once that. you're happy with your selection, press the create button at the bottom. That's pretty cool. Oh, so it's underneath. So what was that one? A tenary? Is it a tenary in a gurnei? I'm going to say. I'm probably completely wrong. I've never heard of a uh, tor Torvosaurus before. To tell you why. Or maybe I have, I just can't remember, but they're not an arc, and that's my most recent reference. I'll just create it. While we wait right? for our new dinosaur to incubate, we'd better go and prepare right. the new habitat. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got to make the new habitat. Secure fencing Where? is of utmost importance, especially going, for a predator. Open the enclosures the category and choose a fence type. I'm You'll want to cover the entire perimeter. Do you know what I'm doing as well, right? I'm using the mouse thinking like looking up will make you fly up it doesn't so legit you don't need to ever look up you just need to do the rotations that makes things a bit easier because doing that changes your view and angle but doesn't actually change your position as you move so that that might actually help with a little bit of fine tuning it might actually help so i've got to build the perimeter fencing and <laughs> enclosures hey it's coming up it's coming up it's just giving us everything i could possibly need I like the look of sugar wooden. That's our wooden there. Concrete looks. That that's. Can you see these zoomed in? If you click on it, do you get a view. Do you get to see anything? 
Yeah, we'll try this one. And then I've got to use this and try and put a fence down. How am I going to do... I have not got these... I'm not this talented. Will shift lock it straight? No. Will it? No. Can you lock it? No. That ignores snap. It means snap to each other because I'm getting zero snap there. Oh, do you have to click it down? What's going on? I don't understand. I'm clicking place. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> Oh, it's worth that time. What? Oh, I cannot control this. I'm such a, such, such a noob. Does it only reach that far for starters? Yeah, unless right, so you get sections at a certain length. Go on, get, get, get gone, get done. Do you have to be a certain, do you have to be nearby? Maybe. Have I done that? And then this side, is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was gonna say, like, if this is your first, it's everybody's first time here. Like, I stream on Twitch, I stream ARC on Twitch. But this is my first time where I'm doing the bit YouTube. And, uh, my gosh, I feel like I need to apologize for what, <laughs> what? If anybody's watching, I doubt anybody. Maybe a few. Maybe a few people I already know. But uh, if you're watching this, I apologise. I apologise for my lack of ability. Sorted, it looks clicking, like it's time clicking to and dragging with a mouse. Specimen. Like, that's meant to be easy, right? Got to release the specimen. So do I click on it. Release. Oh, now I'm just... Woohoo! Got a dinosaur in my hand. Right. Where we're putting it? Put it there. A beautiful Hopefully animal it's... indeed. But of course, it's still Hopefully going to need safe. a proper environment, something to make it feel like home. Plenty of vegetation, a lake, and a shelter should do nicely. Nigel, you're expecting a lot of me. We've, been, we've definitely been way past 15 minutes already, right? Nigel's having a laugh. Oh, under 15 minutes. Ah, if you know what you're doing. I'm guessing it's limiting as to what structures I can see and stuff as well at the minute. I'm guessing. I do quite like the control setup though, once I figure out how it works. That'll do, won't it? What else? We'll have calm water. And how does this go in? Oh my god. How do I resize that? Like so. I don't want like perfectly round stuff, do I? I want a bit of, bit of variety. I'd like to make it like less shallow as well. Like I've got over the top here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've done a bit too much. Can I go back and change the terrain though? So it like, oh, I can. Oh look at this! Makes this side a bit cliffy. I like that. I like that. Oh yeah. I'm smashing it. And right, pro pro now. Yeah, get that thing so it's back in. Should I want a nice straight edge like that and make it look more like a river or should I keep it like a poony kind of pond? I'm so unsure how this works like. Does that smooth that off a bit? I feel like that's pretty mental. Oh, I like that better because it's, it's raising the banks. I feel like my banks are a bit too steep. And now I don't like that there's no banks. What? You, you cannot win? Oh my god, people make this look so easy. I want to, I want that two that did that again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're coming out. We're coming out over here. We're going to add, it's going to, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run the water across the middle. It feels more doable for us. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kind of do these round ones, right? These round pools. How the hell are you meant to do them? What mad lads came up with that idea of getting me to try and do something like that? Yeah, we'll do, we'll, there we go. I like this this more river looking approach. But I should probably not have put their food in there. But then it looks a bit silly because the river doesn't start anywhere or go anywhere. Right, we'll, we'll tidy it up a tiny bit, right? 
We got a fever too. This this two is the winner, I've decided. And uh I'm gonna smooth that down there. Get that smoothed in. And then what we'll do. I I don't know if I'm meant to be caring this much for the tutorial, am I? Probably not. But we're gonna Oh, that's nice. That's the, not the tool I was after, but oh, I like that. I'll take that. We'll do a bit, a bit of a mound in this corner. <laughs> Maybe not like that. <laughs> yeah, you, you get smoothed off a little bit. Oh, look, it looks fantastic. I look like a slightly... I don't. I'm lying. I, look, I have no idea. Let's not pretend like I know what I'm doing. And now I've ruined it again. This is difficult. It doesn't help that I didn't know how to turn a camera like. Oh my god. How would you get the water to just be like chill? Let's just make this bit more pond like. Oh my god, it's really so cool. <laughs> like I knew it was going to make a circle, but I thought it'd be a little less abrupt. You know? Like I thought I'd get a little bit of... There we go. <laughs> Let's just roughen the land around here. There we go. Smooth that out. That's ah oh, there. That's perfect. Done. Right. <laughs> All that just for a little bit of water in the middle. It looks horrendous. Right. <laughs> trees. There's trees here. Get in. Is it particular trees they need? That looks like the one in the icon. I'm going for these trees, like. Paint foliage? What's so I'm painting it on? Let's put it on our hills. Oh my god. Oh my god. That Wonderful job. Quicker than I was if expecting that it could smile, <laughs> I reckon it would. Choose you can assess everywhere. how well designed an exhibit is by clicking on the perimeter fencing. Go on, give it a try. Oh my god. If I do do a <laughs> YouTube video. The higher the I'm highly down it right now. The more but if likely I do. our visitors are to donate to the habitat. <laughs> As you can see, though, don't worry if you don't visibility come back. isn't too great. There must be something we As can As you can build. see, there's not much to expect going forwards. But maybe, maybe I'll get better. Maybe, I, maybe I'll improve. Maybe, maybe the progress will be worth the watch. Go get some binoculars in, and they're under guest facilities. Let's give it a go. Oh, I wish right click. I might have to change key binds. I like automatically want right click to be spin. Spinny, spinny. Should put them on there? Is that what you. The blue dots must be. Right. How do I go down? There we go. Oh, pro gamer. Um, they're not snapping, so do I have to just make that happen? I don't like that. I don't like how the rotation works. Hold left shift to change height. Oh. Well, I want them on the top, like. Why'd you put them on the bottom? Oh, there we go. Great thinking. Hey. With yeah, it's all my idea, Nigel. I came up with that. Significantly further into an exhibit. Nobody hinted anything at all or forced me into a particular menu. I definitely came up with that. Speaking of visitors, we should make sure the viewing <sighs> area has sufficient guest facilities. The horrible thing is, this tutorial is right at my level. This easy, short tutorial. Place a nutrition kiosk. Is this for custom guest facilities here? Yeah. Guests. I was going to say customers. Nutrition. Does put this wherever I fancy like. Should I just put it at the end of that path? Because there's no there. Why I? There we go. It's gone at the end of this path. How do I spin it again? Path to the kiosk. Is it? Is oh, is it? Why can you not move it just slightly? Is that just me being a buffoon again? Because of because of that, I kind of don't want it to be centre. This is bloody difficult. This man, it's not easy. Is it? What is it now? Gone centre now that I've changed my mind. Hasn't. Tough. It's going like that. Slightly wonky. Cute as can be. But it's an animal statue. Got this one. Well, is this the Edmontosaurus? But we were just doing Torvosaurus, right? 
Where did I put this? I don't even know where this Ed Munchosaurus is like. So you know, I'll just put it in a pen. Let's put it here at the entrance. Beautiful. Superb. Beautiful. That will keep them both well Oh my god, the seats on it. And I've even put it on a path. Is to connect the paths <laughs> and let guests find our latest attractions. Without yeah. their support, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Ah, oh, big shout out to the guests. I must say, the guests make everything possible. So, do you know what? I kind of want to start off. How do you do a path? I, I'd like to start off knowing how to do a path. Is it not going to let us do that? Oh my god, I've legit got to do blue to blue. And now the kiosk's in Take the way. Look at that. The park's star rating has increased. Let's see how this kingdom uh, is doing, shall we? Oh, uh, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, what is my life? I can't, why am I doing this? I can't even play video games. Open the management dashboard. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Where's that? Oh, oh, we found it straight away. Ha! Huh. I haven't I seen guest satisfaction numbers that high in a long time. Just, You're a just, natural. Yeah, just Let's absolute try visiting boss when it comes to parks, page. like. Especially dinosaur ones. It's my forte, like. Um, did I once again not listen to Big Nige? Oh my god. Animal welfare. We're just going to click on some things. As I suspected, everyone in the park seems to be doing great. However, it does seem a little dinosaur heavy, no? I think it's time to call for them. one final attraction. The Woolly Mammoth. Head oh, on over right. to Excavations. Right. We should have a dig site ready to go in Siberia. Oh my god, I thought I was a bit brutal on the tutorial. Let's go to Excavations, because this is blue. Oh, and it says... Mammothus. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we're just adding a different type of prehistoric creature other than a dinosaur and not culling the dinosaurs. I was really, really quite worried about that. Ah, it's like that traditional kind of brown colour, I guess. What do I click then? Do I click on it? What do, what do I do? What do I do? He wants us to make freaking mammoths or something. Visit the dig site. I'm at the dig site. Oh, great. Let's head back to the nursery and get started. Does that on mean North I haven't Mammoth. got the colour that I wanted? Let's go back to excavations. So what do I do now? Can I do this one? Oh, I've done them all. Oh, will I go to the nursery? Well, I, I'm, I must, the nursery's the place where we make the dinos, right? I must. If this isn't right, I'd be so confused. Are there mammoths in here? <gasps> there is there. Oh, we did it. So mammoths bigger than that of the dinosaur we're looking at, right? I want to know how big this human is, because if, if that's like a five foot human, it's less in impressive than if it's a six foot eight human. Do you know what I mean? Still impressive, like, still a big creature, but... Oh, and I've researched those colours, but I don't have the colour I want to try. Oh, man, we'll have a male. We'll have... Go oh, three females to keep them in check, but, you know, he needs... He needs While a little bit they're of backup, incubating, you know? we should prepare their new home. There's a paddock ready nearby, but it's filthy from housing a previous occupant. Well, where? Which? First, let's correct those feeders. Set up one to stock plants. What feeders? And the other to stock fruit. He's not. <laughs> he's, there's somewhere nearby. That's lovely, but what feeders and where? Is this where I need to go to the icon now? That one's got dinosaurs, and I didn't see it, to be fair. We've been over here, because it's the next icon that I keep seeing. And there's no dinosaurs that I've seen in there, so I'm going to presume... That means this is the one. And we'll get a mammoth in this once upon a time dinosaur pen. If that's even what was in it. Might have had someone else. They get a big cat. Who knows? So if I click on this edit group mode and then you can quickly set the feed as available feed. Herbivore, 
frugivore. I've not seen that word before. I don't even know what it means. So a herbivore would be happy to eat leaves. So that one's done. And then do I need to go to a different one? Is that what it's trying to say? I thought it meant if you go to the group feeder thing, it'll change all of the ones. Like, it wants to that what you put in. But no, it doesn't seem that way. Something I'm really, really struggling with with switching over to PC is uh, only having four buttons for di well, yeah, four buttons for direction. I find it really tricky. Do I need to exit that group and go into this one's group, edit mode? And then I can click on that and change that one. So if animals aren't eating high quality food, fruit. low nutrition could lead to weak immune systems and excess Herb animal waste. Likes herbs. <sighs> well, for the up Looking there, at the state herbs. of this paddock, it appears herbs. the previous park that manager don't like wasn't particularly mindful Earth of the that. herbs. Feces, scat, however you wish to refer to it, scat. will always be something we need to manage. I know Nobody exactly calls what you feces up for, scat, did but it? we need to get all that dung removed. And well, only one of Makes us, us worry about that scat man song. So, I'm a feces man. So select the exhibit and clean its dung. Did I do that by clicking the fence, if I remember? Or do you just click the fence and go get rid of that poo for us, please? Is that right? Oh yeah, look, the poo button. As the park grows, you'll find it harder to micromanage each habitat. For that, you'll need help from some teensy tiny employees. Dung beetles. Oh. Their nests are essential in automating the disposal of feces. So let's put a few in Can now. Can employ some dung beetles? I thought he was going to go talk about staff, was I? Why is he saying the staff's just all going to be teeny tiny? I mean, like, there's no problem with that, but... You know, it's, it's good to include people of all different heights. You know what I mean? Um, what am I looking at here? Where am I going? Down here. Oh, class dung beetle nest. Do I need to pop a few of them about? I think that just about does it. The yeah, I was going to put some in the other circle cool. too, but yeah, it's pump. all right, Nigel. It's all right. And everything appears Don't to be you worry, in tip-top condition. Now, if you wouldn't mind doing the honours, I believe we're due for some arrivals. Oh, wow. The animal holder. So what do I do here? Yeah. Select all. Can I select all? Release all five. I'll put you near some food. Go on. Put you near that food. Put three of you there, right? Then over here, we'll spread you out, you know, so people can see you from all over. And we'll know you want to be near the food. There they are. Mammothus primigenius. Scene. Trumpeting in the snow for the first time in nearly 4,000 years. Oh, it's a miracle, Nigel. There's it's something distinctly beautiful about Ice Age megafauna. Mm -hmm. Their ability to thrive in the harshest conditions is something, something I believe great. we should all strive to admire. Yeah. Today you've helped give something back, not just to our park, but to the world. I feel fulfilled, Nigel. Thank you. I feel very fulfilled. But, question. Uh-uh. Sounds like that will be for me. We're all done here for today. You're off! But I'm really glad to know the park will be in safe hands. From now on, it's all up to you. Talk soon. All right. All right, mate. Nice to meet you. Catch you later. So we're done. We're finished. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of, a little bit of a look around. And uh, I think I'll, I'll leave you there. If you have enjoyed the video, although I'm sure... It's been difficult to watch if you've managed to make it this far and you've enjoyed it. It'd be class if you would do us the kindness of liking and subscribing and even popping on the notification bell if you want to be alerted as to when the next video is out. But that's it for me. Cheers. I'm Toast Bloke. I'll catch us again soon, lads and lasses. Take care. Bye-bye.